Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I am Nur Aina Faikah binti Takra Akramin and my research title is Comparison of Student Academic Performance and Learning Effectiveness Between Physical Classroom and Online Learning. Due to the sudden outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, all education institutions in Malaysia have been ordered to close during the crisis time to prevent the rapid spread of the virus. Hence, all the education institutions had shifted to online teaching platforms to continue the teaching and learning session. However, there are obstacles faced by students when dealing with online learning. The past studies show that the sudden shift of learning method had caused a bad effect in terms of students' performance, satisfaction, course content, interaction and workload. From all the information, we can identify the differences of student performance and learning effectiveness between physical classroom learning before COVID-19 pandemic and online learning during COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, the first objective of this research is to compare student performance based on different learning methods at School of Housing, Building and Planning, University of Science Malaysia. Meanwhile, the second objective is to compare classroom learning effectiveness between different learning methods at School of Housing, Building and Planning, University of Science Malaysia. According to the past literature, the academic performance of the student during online learning implemented is better than traditional classroom learning. Thus, the academic achievement will be assessed and focused in this research. Next, the learning effectiveness were being evaluated by assessing the course content, pedagogical approaches, interactivity, and assessment feedback and evaluation for physical classroom and online learning. This research is adopting quantitative method with implemented ratio scale and 5-point Likert scale. The online survey was conducted by using Google Form software and the target respondent for this research is the year and fourth year of students from School of Housing, Building and Planning who experienced both learning methods in University of Science Malaysia. The findings obtained for the first objective shows inconsistent with the literature review. The result of the mean difference illustrated that the students achieved higher CGPA during physical classroom learning compared to online learning. Next, the findings obtained for the second objective is consistent with the literature review. The result of mean difference demonstrated that the course content, pedagogical approaches, interactivity and assessment feedback and evaluation during physical classroom learning is more effective compared to online learning. Course content shows the highest mean difference between both learning methods. As a result, this research is beneficial to the people in the field of academic sector like lecturers, university management and ministry of education to understand the effects of online learning situations suffered by university students and also to understand the differences of academic performance and learning effectiveness between both learning methods. That's all from me. Thank you.